What up folks, Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Now this video is a viewer request from a guy called Juki567 who asks simply, can you do a fly through text effect? The answer is yes, and in this video I'll show you how to do it. You absolutely can do this using keyframes, you'll have more control using keyframes, but I'm a big advocate for working smarter rather than harder and you can get really, really great results really quickly and easily using dynamic zooms, so that's what I'm going to show you in this video. If you want me to do a separate video on how to do it using keyframes, just let me know down below. Right, let's open Resolve and I'll show you how to do it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the Edit tab. Now I'm going to whip through this first bit really quickly because I've already made a video about it in the past. You can click on that linked above. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my clip and I'm going to put it onto video 2. This is the video that I want to see through the text. I'm going to open up the Effects Library. We're going to go to the toolbox, titles, and then grab text. And that's going to go underneath on video track one. We're going to click on our video track. So not the text, the video above. We're going to open the inspector in the top right hand corner. And we're going to change the composite mode from normal down to multiply. And then straight away we'll see our text. So I can give the text a click, put my text in there. I'm going to go with party. Choose a better font and we'll zoom in a little bit like so. So now we've got our text with our video track underneath and it's looking something like that. And all we want to do is to fly through the text revealing all of the video underneath. So the first thing you want to do is find the point where you want to start flying through. So the point where you want this animation to begin. So I'm just going to go with about here. I'm going to select my text and I'm just going to add a quick cut like so. And then we want to find the point where we want the animation to have finished. Now a second or two seconds works really well with this. I'm going to go with about two seconds. And then what you need to do is do a cut on both the video and the text, like so. So we've got a simple cut there just in the text, and then a cut here of both the text and the video. We can delete this text because we no longer need that. That's absolutely fine. And then on this video track here, just give it a click. And then we actually want to change the composite mode from multiply back to normal. Because you can see at the moment, because it's in multiply, but it can't multiply with anything, it's just a black screen. So if we change that back to normal, now we can see the video track again. So at the moment, if we hit play, we've got our party, and then it just cuts off and we've got the video underneath. Give this small section of text a click. With the inspector still open, head into the video tab and we're going to use one of my favorites, the dynamic zoom. So just toggle that little box there to turn it on and then you'll see it will have some sort of default animation. So in this case it's just zooming out slightly, which is not what we want. Down here to the left of your preview window you'll see transform with a little drop down box. We're going to click on this drop down arrow and we're going to select dynamic zoom. Now this is dead easy. The green box is the starting point and the red box is where you finish. So what we want to do is just drag this red box, we'll make it smaller, and we want it to fit inside a letter. So this is the point where you're going to fly through. So you want to make sure there's no outlines of the text within this red box, so that works well for me. And then we're just going to make this green box to be the full size of the screen. And now if we go back and hit play, it'll look something like that. And it's as easy as that. Now you can mess with the animation slightly. So if you give that a click again, so it's highlighted again within the inspector, go to video, scroll down. So you've got the dynamic zoom ease and it's currently set to linear, which means it will be moving at a constant pace. I find ease in works better for this. That means it will start off slow and then get faster as the animation goes. So then if we hit play, it whips through like that. And it's really, really nice. And that's it folks, I hope that was useful, if it was, thumbs up, any comments or feedback down below, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time, bye!